Hello again and welcome back to another one. And today we have a couple of topics to cover as it seems like Billboard and Vibe's Top 50 Greatest Rappers of All Time list continues to fuel the debates about the greatest rappers of all time. And Tiger joined the conversation a few hours ago that sparked some interesting reactions so far. Today we also have a wild take that fans have been debating for days on Twitter as apparently Eminem was ended in 2009 and we didn't even know it. And this reportedly happened after Mariah Carey dropped Obsessed. <laughs> Serious? People gotta find ways to stay occupied until it's Christmas, I guess? Today we also have one that's got many bamboozled at the moment, linked to the video that Logic shared with a message from his dad, and Logic's been getting flamed in response to the video, more on this in a bit. So today we'll start with Tiger's take on the greatest rappers of all time, and Tiger took to Twitter to share this a few hours ago, Lil Wayne and Eminem are the best rappers of all time, lyrical wordplay delivery, flow, pockets, originality, raw, intentional, clarity, generational, influence. But in response to Tiger, some believe Tiger was pressured by some unknown force to mention Eminem. It's hilarious, or he's a state. Y'all say M because you have to at this point, and this user has been getting cooked. Some kept it short and simple. LOL, you're delusional. Another user expanded. No, some actually appreciate his skills. If you don't, that's fine. We ain't meant to like the same ish. But some users are legit pissed by this. The rappers get a call from the parent label to hop online and randomly stand for Eminem laughing my bum off because I'm seeing a pattern now. And this is hilarious because Eminem getting rated highly is nothing new. Eminem's been in the top 5 conversation for like 2 decades now. If you're just noticing that Eminem is in the conversation, you're either too young or too slow. I'm climbing towards the ladder, but what are your thoughts on Tiger's take on this? Moving on to the next point, remember when Logic shared a video with a message from his dad. Hey daddy, what you gotta say to the world? Hey, what's going on? It's time to go night night. <laughs> If you, if you had advice for anybody out there, what would it be, Dad? Keep it real. <laughs> keep it real all the time, nigga. You already know what it is. <laughs> when keeping it real goes wrong, you're in a hell of a lot of trouble. <laughs> Say what the f That's that Chappelle. That's well, he's getting flamed for this, and it's wild, a report states. Logic is receiving backlash after saying the N-word, even though he's biracial. <laughs> Serious? And apparently, it takes like this. That dude ain't sound right coming from him, laughing emojis. And in response to those faking outrage over Logic's video, the user expands. Imagine caring that a biracial person says the soft n-word in a video with his black father. And some took it further. 6 9 uses the term religiously, where's the energy? Another user ramped it up, so where's the backlash when Drake says it, laughing emojis? I mean, I get Drake doesn't look as white, but yikes, y'all's hypocrisy is showing. I mean, even the likes of Ben Zeno and J. Cole get a pass, and some even added Cardi B to the mix. I guess we can all conclude Logic's backlash is happening because it's trendy to hate on him on social media. Moving on, this blew up on Twitter recently, perhaps since some people gotta stay occupied while they wait for Christmas, hence this. Obsessed, Mariah Carey, she ended Eminem. Really? Huh. A catchy bop, she dressed up as him in the video, laughing emoji. The lyrics are scathing and clever. Will the real MC please step to the mic? You're a mom and pop, I'm a corporation, I'm the press conference, you're a conversation. And it was a whole thread to explain how Eminem was ended in 2009. But apart from those devoid of logic, it was more along these lines. I love MC, but I'ma have to disagree. The warning had her own voice in the diss track. Now if it were me, I would've sued M if he used my voice without my permission. But she sure didn't woozy emoji. But some hit back with, thanks to Eminem she achieved her last hit, King Behavior. Which makes the whole quote she ended Eminem even more hilarious. Since the warning, she became a Christmas conversation and some users pulled up current Spotify data. Can't really say quote she ended Eminem when he still has a relevant career and she's only relevant or trending when Christmas comes around for one bloody song. The numbers just don't lie. I mean, here's a nice breakdown of how it's been going for Eminem since 2009. If this is what it means, to get ended, 5 number 1 since then, best selling male artist of the decade, then every artist's prayer right now will be to get ended like this. And some drop this from Denzel Curry, Eminem The Warning was one of the best diss tracks out. Share your thoughts below, thanks for watching, like and subscribe for more and see you on the next one.